Um, this next song we're going to do is a tune I wrote a few years back for my grandmother, um, whose name was Norma Blackwell. And uh, she was a pioneer in uh, the neighborhood around Dinsmore and went through, as I'm sure you guys have heard the stories, all sorts of hardships in her life and uh, managed to survive the Dirty Thirties. And um, I think one of the biggest tragedies of her life was she ended up only being able to have one child who was my dad, yay, dad. Um, but she would have had a house full of kids if she'd have had a chance. So uh, she ended up becoming uh, Grandma Norma to everybody in Dinsmore, Saskatchewan. And all around the, the, west, the um, west central part of the province, her mom and dad were telephone operators. And um, uh, everywhere she went, she was known. And everywhere that I went growing up, people would always say, Blackwell, Blackwell, are you Norma's granddaughter? So it was really cool to be related to her because she was a pretty neat lady. And uh, so I wrote this tune for her when she turned 90. We lost her a few years back. Uh, but uh, at 90 years old, she was spry and sprightly and just the most amazing woman. And I always, I still say she's the most optimistic person I've ever met. Um, and so this song is full of Grandma Norma-isms, lots of sayings that were famous coming out of her mouth. And, uh, and it was a tune written from her perspective. So this is called The Flight of Norma Susan. And it's a waltz, you can feel free to dance. I didn't grow up with money to spare, didn't have fancy clothes, but I didn't care, cause I knew what love was, felt it at home, a love that sustains me wherever I go, and I've been down life's most painful roads, but friends like When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. The bright side of life isn't too hard to see. I chose to be happy with what life gave me. I love my family. God is my guide. Friends like
Thanks for my grandma.